I think this video is going to be pretty fun because you're going to join me as we work through a problem, an API problem. We're going to try to use the Collegiate Dictionary API that exists. Uh, I was looking through some Google Sheet videos and I saw this Miriam Webster slash dictionary URL and uh, I thought, oh, this might still exist where you just add the word and then you can get the definition um, with this import XML, but it doesn't really work. Um, we can even try to do something, maybe try to get this to work with like, uh, d sometimes it needs the www. Uh, sometimes, no, it's not working. So I was like, hey, there is an actual API here. Um, wouldn't it be cool if I could figure out the API? And I wanna walk through figuring it out. So I haven't figured it out yet. So you're gonna walk with me um, through it. I have been reading the documentation. There's uh, JSON documentation, all of this stuff. It's really good to read all of this, but also sometimes it's really good to just wa walk through. So I did get an API key. Um, we're gonna use an API key here. I don't think I've set up anything. I have uh, extensions, app script. We're going to go over here, create API key, all caps. And I'm gonna grab it and put it in there. Yeah, we have nothing set up so far. So we're gonna just call it a function get definition. Um, we're going to get our word here and then we're gonna have our variables here. We're gonna use URL fetch app, of course. Um, dot fetch, and we're gonna fetch the URL which it will tell us. But um, yeah, make sure you get your API key, put it in API key if you wanna follow along yourself. Um, let's see, we have an introduction, we have data structure, entry, metadata, labels, inflections. I think these are all parts of it, but let's see, just the overview. Uh, terminology, cool. We want to see the <laughs> API. Um, let's just use dictionary. We have, need JSON, right? JSON fields, request, here we go, request URL. Okay, grab this and put that in as our URL. Actually, we can call that variable URL. Here we go, and we need an API key, so we'll add that. And we need a word here, this is the word. So we will add word. So we'll add that as a um, variable here. And now we add our API key plus API key. Our API key is going to be variable API key equals spreadsheet app dot get active spreadsheet. Just do this so many times get sheet by name, uh, API key in all caps, dot get range, I know it by heart, A1, I knew I put it in there. All right, so there's our API key, we're gonna hit save. We're going to fetch this URL. We want some options, I think. I think we're gonna need some options here. Let's go back to our API documentation. Maybe not. Let's just go grab the data, we have meta, Definition, def. There it is, def. So let's look at our data that comes back without any options. So variable response equals this, and we're gonna return response.getContentText. That's how you get access to that API, or most APIs. I'm gonna save this right here in, let's do equals get definition A3. Let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see it. And see what we get. Invalid API key, not subscribed for this reference. All right, let me go figure that out. So I went back and looked at the documentation. I think I forgot this test word here. So we're gonna add that. Um, Wait, no, test seems to be the word, one second. So what we might wanna do is add some options here where the options is uh, method is um, not post, but uh, get. And we want to try that. Let's see if that works. 
and it doesn't really say that our uh, reference is bad. It does say reference, not subscribe for this reference, invalid API key, but we can maybe look at that API key again. Okay, I see the issue. This is so silly. This is silly. This is a app script issue. I didn't get value. I only got the range of the API key. So the API key really was, this was the absolute exact uh, thing to give us because the API key was wrong. It was just not getting the value. Great, now we have this data. Wow, awesome. So now we are grabbing the data correctly and we just need to parse it. Should be pretty easy. We can look at this JSON beautifier. Let's look at the best one here. And what we want to do is get, hmm, where's the definition? There it is. Short def, def. Oh my God, it's so far down. <laughs> um, so let's do this. Let's make this into JSON or um, uh, data equals JSON dot parse response. And now we can do return data dot, I think we want one dot short def. I think that's what we want to do because looking at this, we want short def here. We might want even zero one. Perfect. We want zero probably, just one short definition. Save that. Hmm, there's no short def for software, but there is short def definitions for these words. I don't know why software doesn't have one. Um, type error cannot read properties of undefined. So this software doesn't have a short definition. Hmm. But now we have definitions for all these words. We have at least one definition. Set act or action of setting. Yeah, coach, to go in a coach. These are some version of the definition. We can possibly put both in there. Maybe let's do this variable short def one equals this and variable short def two. If there's a second one, join um, just short def one plus let's put a forced um, put a space in between them, short def two, and see what happens. Mm, now we're getting errors because they probably don't have short def. Hmm. What we could as well do is, instead of this allowing for more, we can just say try, we can put try here, try this, and catch if there's an error, I think we need to put error, um, return error. So it'll try it, it won't give us an exact, this error will just give us some blank, so we can try it. That makes it a little cleaner. Oh, I think actually each of these datas have a short def. So we'll do this, and I bet we're gonna get something for everything. This, everything has one that I made that mistake. I'm looking at this again, and I see, okay, there's a zero here, one, two. That means there's probably three definitions for this particular word, but if there's only one definition, we're gonna have to only access this zero. So we'll just take the first definition. Um, you know, this is not absolutely perfect because we did this in about 10 minutes. Um, but I think this was a really cool way to show you how to take just a random uh, here uh, API, look at the documentation, capture this URL, add in our words, add in our API key. We just added a new sheet, put get value. We made sure that that was a little sticking point. Um, and we just do this over and over again, this response equals and we do the fetching. We add some options if we need it to. We might not even need those options, I bet it works without these options, let's try it. Um, it's always good to just try something and if you keep getting errors, then uh, just read through those errors and see what happens. Let's uh, replace all of these, yeah. We don't need 
those options of just grabbing uh, the data that we're getting back and we're parsing through it with JSON, which is this data equals json.parse, and then we're gonna go here and parse through it. And we looked at it through this JSON viewer here. Hopefully this was fun for you, and now you can use dictionaries inside of your uh, uh, spreadsheet tools. Cool?